And we're back to learn GIMP and this time we're going to show you how to create a Polaroid effect. I've seen people doing it with a plugin. I'm going to show you how to create it from scratch. This is the camera size that I use for YouTube videos. It's too big for my Polaroid. So I'm going to create a new one. So file new. I'll make it like 1000 times 1200. So this is a new project here. Let me just make the background black so that we can see everything properly. I use the paint bucket tool for it and left click. Well, black is my foreground color. Now I use the right angle select. And by default it should snap to the corners when you left click, drag and resize it so that you have everything selected. I flip the colors so white is not my foreground color. I go to edit, stroke selection. I use solid color line width 50. And open the line style and I want to have it not round like here for the joint style but I want to have this one middle. Just stroke it and 50 is fine in my case. I resize my selection. I go to edit fill with foreground color and then I go to select none and we should be good here. So I just eyeball this typical Polaroid frame. Now I drag and drop an image. I use the scale tool, left click. When I scale it down, I left click, drag and hold control. And when I have a size that I like, I click on scale to confirm. Let me reposition that using the move tool. It's on top of the frame. To see the frame, I just decrease the opacity and then we can see it. And I reposition this image a little bit more. We'll use the rect angle tool again. And then you want to drag like so, I zoom in. And you want to have it so that you are a little bit beyond the frame. Something like this. And then right click on your image layer. Add layer mask. And use selection. Confirm via add. And now you can increase the opacity again for the image and we can see the frame. Select none. Now I merge it, so I'm on the top layer and click down here. Now I go to layer and crop the content. And now we can use our Polaroid in the original canvas. So I press Ctrl C or go to edit and copy, then paste Ctrl V or go to edit and paste. And here it is now, it's a floating object by default, so just confirm by clicking on new layer. Let me rename it to Polaroid. And I scale it down a little bit. I hold control once more when I do. I also want to rotate it. So left click on it. Use the slider. Confirm via rotate. And I'm going to scale it down a little bit more because it's too big for my canvas. Let's just say you want to have a white background, not a black one. Let me make that white. The frame is not visible anymore as it has the same color. So let me go back to the Polaroid filters, light and shadow, and I use a drop shadow. It's not a bad idea to add that, increase the opacity a little bit. X and Y is for the position of our shadow. You can feather it out more by using the blur radius right here. But for the most part you can just keep the defaults and confirm. And this now works on every color so if you let's say make it red, paint bucket to left click, you can still see the drop shadow. And this is the process that I would use to create such a Polaroid design in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.